Hi, this is Thesia of Ellis Family Farms, and I got a mess on my hands. <laughs> I have not planned very well on some of the birds that I've gotten this year, and uh, today it's like 52 degrees and raining, and it's yeah, it's early May, and that's I think that's really unusual for May, but it is what it is. And I just got a shipment of both turkey poults and Cornish Cross meat birds, and if you think about it. Okay, yeah, I've got the big brooder I've got out there. That's fine, but it's too cold to put them in that for right now, especially since I don't have any electricity running to it. But so I can I can set up the small brooder, but it's out in the rain too. <laughs> but my biggest issue that I've got coming down the road is I've still got all those other turkey poults that are in the John Seskovich chicken tractor from a few weeks ago. And these are going to be coming out of a brooder pretty darn quick. And like I said, it's two different breeds of birds. So, yeah, I didn't plan this out very carefully. But let's see if we can get this figured out. Um, some of this I'm not, some of this I'm not going to be able to, uh, to I, I'm not like um, Justin Rhodes and sits out, and out there with the umbrella trying to get stuff done. So when I come in out of the rain, I'll turn the camera back on. This is interesting. You can see where I've got the Cornish crosses here, but then we've got these other little birds here. And they're just mixed because they're on both sides. I figured they would have them separated. But yeah, these ones are the dark colors on them. Those are my heritage breeds. Um, turkey poults. And then the ones that are just plain little white fluffy, those are my Cornish crosses. So we need to get them into some warmth. Everybody's looking pretty healthy except for one little turkey poult there. I don't know if that one's going to make it or not. But, and I had lots of help. Oh my goodness. But at least they're under the heat lamps now. They got food, they got some water, and they got places to explore and look around and chill out. This will be a safe place for them for a few days anyway until it warms back up again. So hopefully, hopefully this one will recover, but I get the feeling that little turkey poult's not going to recover. Well, I keep experimenting with <laughs> camera angles and stuff. I guess that's what you do in general anyway, but I haven't figured it out. And I cannot figure out how to get rid of glare on my glasses, and I just can't do without my glasses. Not only can I not see, but I've got really bad dark circles, and so that doesn't work either. So I'm still working on that part and hoping to get that put together. So it is still storming. This is the next day. It stormed all night. In fact, we have some... I, th I haven't heard any updates on it, but yesterday there was some... Uh, uh, some tornadoes it was kind of cool looking because anybody I hate that people get hurt in tornadoes but at the same time I think tornadoes are fascinating they are just truly fascinating I've maintained since I was a little kid that I would love to be a storm chaser and as I get older maybe not so much but yeah maybe I wouldn't mind going on a storm chasing thing so the one down they had down in Okima was like a multiple vortex 
multiple vortex mortis multiple vortices i think that's how you say it and uh i don't know i don't from what i could tell from the footage they probably weren't that strong but they were definitely there so i'll have to look that look and follow up and see how bad the damage was and hopefully nobody was hurt but it was cool to see the footage of it anyway i've seen tornadoes in real life and they are amazing it's frightening but amazing so Okay, I digress. It's been, we've had a lot of storms. It's going to storm all day today, so I can't even get anything done outside. But that one that one little turkey poult did die, but so far everybody else is looking real good. So it looks like I ordered 20 of uh, the Cornish Cross uh, meat birds, and I ordered five what they call blue slate uh, turkeys. They're supposed to be a heritage breed. And that's what I'm going to So I guess now I have two different kinds of heritage breeds. Yeah, I didn't think that one through. I'd forgotten that I'd ordered I don't know what I've thought but so now I've got two different types of heritage breeds and it looks like I've got some uh, broad-breasted uh, turkeys that are two months old now they're eight weeks old and so I've got to come up with housing for them I think I could I've got some ideas I'm always open to ideas from somebody else around here you know I mean if you have some suggestions on what I could do because I'm I know I've got this batch of meat birds is coming through I'm gonna need one more so I was trying to decide do I want to make another John Suskovich style track chicken tractor or do I want to, and I'm leaning toward right now for because I need to, a permanent place for my turkeys because uh, I want to keep that in a closed system I'm thinking about turning that big brooder into a a full-time house for them and maybe putting up some cattle panels and chicken fencing or something around it to keep them safe my only problem with that is is it's not portable and I've got so much grass I would like to be able to let them have fresh grass every day so I might, I might be able to work around something like that too I don't know we'll have to see I'm still thinking and planning and trying to figure out what I want to do and as you could tell by the footage uh, when I was doing the <laughs> when I was taking the the chicks out of the box beethoven is like seriously he wasn't he wasn't hurting him but he wants his head right in that box while i'm trying to deal with with uh with the little chicks so yeah you know he's so big and uh, but he's my sidekick <laughs> you know how that goes so i guess that's all i've got i don't think it's good there's not a whole lot going on with this today i did get the i did get the poults and i got the uh chick meat birds and i'm glad and i think i'm gonna have to do another round of meat birds too because it looks like my freezer's getting low so between the turkeys and the chickens and turk and and stuff i'm gonna be doing pretty good i'm hoping so uh so i uh, i'm ready i need to move the i need to move everybody but it's just been too rainy I, I i couldn't get anything out there but that's another day so guys if you like this kind of thing go ahead and hit like and subscribe and uh, share this with other people who that you might get a little bit of encouragement from this you can see all my mistakes see everything that i do this dumb but you also see that i keep trying and keep on working with it so god bless guys i'll see you next time